Hello. Many of you over the last couple of weeks have been asking me, how do I create calendars and campaigns in Hello Wolfie so that I can have different posts go to different channels in my social campaigns? Earlier this month, I shared how to set up an RSS feed into our, uh, Hello Wolfie, which is a great way to get more content into your social platforms. In this video, I'll show how the schedule is managed and the campaigns so that you become a pro in getting your content out to your buyers and sellers. Hello, I'm Smarty and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing so that we can share the love across the Facebook world. Let's dive into Hello Wolfie and let me show you how to set up calendars and campaigns to get posting on your social platforms. Okay, uh, now that I'm on the Hello Wolfie dashboard, let me get right into how to set up the calendars and so forth. Uh, before I actually open the calendar, I just want to show on the main dashboard, you'll have your total campaign posts. So I just started using Hello Wolfie uh, beginning of December, and I've already had 141 posts go across about 11 different social platforms here, which is fantastic. It's getting me relevant across Google, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, even on a Pinterest board. I also have 15 manual posts. You'll use this in Hello Wolfie if you want to push content to your social platform. So I push things manually when I have, for example, a testimonial, or maybe I have a listing that I just sold, or I found a buyer a great home and I'm in front of the house with the family. I want to push that into uh, a, a post automatically. You could use the uh, create single post option in Hello Wolfie. Now, when in the calendar, the calendar is going to feed everything from your library. So at the very top is where you access your calendar. But before you do that, I'll just hop over to the library. You want to make sure that you fill your library with all kinds of content. So uh, as a quick summary, uh, you could pull data in from CSVs, from the website, uh, which is the RSS. And I have a video on my channel from earlier in the month um, I'll put up here. I'll show you how to hook up like the National Association of Realtors. Or in my case, I took Philly Magazine and got interesting articles from Philly Magazine posting to my channels. Uh, you could also pull in URLs. So another example here is I use Keeping Current Matters uh, as, a, as a content creator. I could take URLs from the Keeping Current Matters system about blogs and such, and I can pull it into the library here so that if I have certain ones I want to use in my posting calendar, I can do so. I can import images. So uh, one of the nice things about this is you could do bulk uploads. So I took a number of rent-to-own, for example, images that I wanted to use I uploaded about 30 at a time, and then for each one of those, it created 30 different posts for me to use in my channel. And coming soon, they're going to have voice and PDF up uploads. So in here, um, uh, you'll see that I have a number of posts already in my library, in the main library. On the draft side, I don't have anything draft because I've I'm, I'm, I'm got everything set up for the month. Um, but you'll see here's the NAR uh, feed. So this came in from... Uh, the uh, RSS feed I set up earlier in the month uh, where the National Association Realtor had an interesting article about rock stars ranking the top podcasts uh, and so forth. But as you come down here, uh, you'll see uh, testimonials. Um, you'll, here's some testimonials from my clients. Uh, and then here's some regular uh, rent-to-own kind of posts that I'm doing on a regular basis. Uh, in the library, if it was already posted, it'll tell you when it was posted. So this was posted on the 22nd. Uh, while other ones uh, towards the bottom are not posted, I have a whole library uh, that's going to be going out uh, through the month. Um, so Hello Wolfie grabs from the library using the calendar to make the post for me. So if I hop over to the calendar, uh, on the very uh, top, uh, top right, you'll see my calendar. You do have the ability to create multiple calendars. So I have a Smarty RSS feed calendar and then a regular calendar. Uh, I suggest if you're a single realtor just doing advertising across channels, uh, you only really need one uh, calendar because campaigns will be on the calendar going to multiple channels, as you'll see here in a minute. Um, but if you are managing multiple agents on your team, uh, each agent can have their own calendar, uh, and then you'll create campaigns for each of the agents and for you so that everybody's being refreshed. So uh, I would just stick for right now as you're using Hello Wolfie for the first time, you know, maybe just staying with a single calendar. 
Uh, what you're going to do here is you can create a manual post or a campaign at the top right. And what you're seeing over here is, uh, as I hover over the dates, this is my posting schedule. So I have uh, posts going out on uh, you know Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays uh, here in the in the system. Uh, and I can go to different months here by toggling over because uh, I also have some other sources of posts that I use. So I have a fresh set of posts that are coming out. Some are coming out on a Wednesday. And uh, as I hover over them, you'll see this one says Google. And uh, this says, uh, you know, this is a, a Google and a uh, and a, a social platform. And then here's a Pinterest campaign that I'm running. I have multiple campaigns scattered throughout the month here in the system. Now uh, I can look at a week view. And you can see the time of days these posts are coming out because you control the time of days that all these posts are coming out. And when you're looking at it, you'll see these little icons down here. This single post is going across about seven different social platforms for me, Instagram and, and many Facebook channels. So uh, with a single post, you can um, really do a nice job. Uh, on the Google side, I have a Google My Business, so that's going out. And then as you'll see other ones. Here's an RSS feed post uh, coming out later in the week. So you can control uh, not only the days that they come out, but the times of days that the posting's happening. Um, now to create a new campaign, you simply hit new campaign. Now on the campaign, uh, the, the previous dates are grayed out, but let me show you like if I'm gonna do a campaign for the month of uh, March coming up, um, I can select the dates that I want. So you can say I want uh, them to come out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And why don't I throw one in for Sundays? So uh, I'll have four post schedules here. Now what you can do is at the very top, there's a thing called pattern schedule. So if you click on that, that's going to make the same pattern each week. So it's going to make four time, four posts a week, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday and Thursday. So uh, that will be a pattern type uh, activity. Uh, whatever you have highlighted up here in the week, if you have a pattern turned on, it'll follow that pattern ongoing in the system. But you'll also see this is March. I could set it up to be ongoing throughout the year. So that's a cool feature. You could set up certain posts, especially with your RSS feeds, just to populate all your social platforms each and every week based on the patterns you've set. Now, what you could do is you hit next. And this is where you're going to give your campaign a name. So if I'm going to do this as a, um, let me say, Facebook IG campaign, I'll, I'll use a uh, posting campaign. And uh, maybe this one's only going to be for my rent to own program because I, I want to create a, a big buzz around rent to own. Now over in here, you can select the accounts. So this is where I have Twitter, I have Facebook. So if I want to go to uh, all these counties, um, down here, Delaware, Philadelphia, these are all the connections I've made. And then I have my Instagram account and, and so forth and Google My Business. So if I want these to all go to those accounts, now I have all my Facebook and four additional accounts and I can edit it if I want to just by selecting them off uh, here and turn them back on um, in the model. Now over here, I can control the hour of the day that I want the post to go. So if I want this to go in one in the afternoon, it already has the date schedule. And then down here, there's an end date. So if I want to do an end date, I can go all the way out. Maybe I want to just run this schedule through the end of June. So I'll hit next. So this is going to be a nice uh, March through June schedule. And I just need to make sure I have enough content in my library, combination of RSS feeds and posts that I upload so that there's a nice uh, set of, uh, of post activities going on. Um, you could also do pattern schedule, scheduling, so it'll show me the pattern uh, right here uh, with all the dates um, here in the system. Uh, that's another option that you have here. Um, now, down in here, uh, you could also do a couple things. You could say last in, first uh, out, first in, first out, or shuffle the posts. So if you have a lot of data in your content, do you want the last post that you put in the library to go out first or the last one you did first? Um, or you want it just to be patterned. So I like to usually do pattern type tracking. Now you could also say, do you want to repeat some content? So if you're afraid that you don't have enough data in your library, uh, it may post uh, in March uh, a particular rent to own uh, post. And then maybe in May, it'll pick that up again and post it a second time uh, in, the, in the May time frame. So you could say repeat content. And then this is key here. 
um, in the system, uh, uh, all your posts in your library can have uh, be tied to categories. So I highly suggest that you do that. So in here, my testimonials, my NRN, uh, uh, National Association Realtor feed from RSS, uh, I have 10 posts coming in here. I have them coming in once a day, and I've already approved 10 of them uh, for the next couple months. Uh, and then down here, uh, you'll see that I have 165 items in my library so I could say use that particular category and you could also do multiple images if you'd like um, in the system. Pinterest has a separate image format so when I created posts for Pinterest I have six posts there and Google needed a separate feed um, so uh, you could have different um, things in your library that are specific to the platforms themselves. So uh, I like to keep that consistent in the model. So now that I have that I just hit schedule. So now what's going to happen is uh, the system is going to um, set up a campaign for all those items and it'll give you a nice summary here. It'll, if, you, if you selected Twitter, it'll say that your character can't, uh, count, can't be more than 280, uh, uh, your LinkedIn uh, has 3,000 and it kind of shows you all the different uh, data here and it's going to create the campaign. If I did select a channel that's not going to match the campaign that I've selected and stuff, it's analyzing all the posts, it'll tell you that it can't use this channel because maybe the image size isn't right. And that's as easy as it is, right? And it says, you know, it'll only fill 14 days at a time. But now if I go to my calendar, I'm going to have this nice uh, uh, event on my calendar that will start hitting uh, beginning of March. So if I come over here to March, Here's the one I just created. Now you'll see it's hitting in the different days. And as I come into month to month, that's April, May, June, uh, one o'clock or two in the afternoon, uh, this campaign's gonna start posting in those days. So very, very cool. If you ever wanna uh, delete a campaign, you could just click the little X and that campaign now is gone. So because I already have my campaigns going, I'm not gonna re recreate them here for you. So I hope you like this uh, uh, capability. Again, Hello Wolfie is a wonderful platform. It goes across all platforms, not limited to a single platform. I've been using Keeping Current Matters, for example, but I can only pick one Facebook page, one Instagram page with Keeping Current Matters. With Hello Wolfie, I'm going across all my channels with one posting schedule. So again, if you like this, Give me some thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate you joining the channel. We're releasing videos each and every week. Enjoy.